Hello, today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated curly hair routine. My hair is now almost hip length, so it's been quite a while since I last did one. I just freshly wash and deep condition my hair. I use the Pattern Clarifying Shampoo and I use Freegio's uh, Curl Defining Mask. And then I braided it after I got out of the shower and left it in a towel. So that is what's happening here. But it's time to moisturize. My part is already there, so that is nice. I'm first gonna go in with some jojoba oil and some rosemary oil. And I am just going to massage this into my scalp to make sure that it stays hydrated. Okay, now that I have massaged that into my scalp, I am going to set that aside and I am just going to split my hair in two and I'm just gonna clip this part up so it's out of the way like that. And then I'm gonna do one side at a time. And I'm gonna break this down into smaller sections and clip the rest away so that I make sure that I'm really going in and moisturizing each strand. I'm gonna be using my tried and true leave-in conditioner from Bohemian Collection, all things au natural. And I'm just going to take some of that and run it through, making sure to really focus on my ends. After I rake it through with my hands, I'm going to go in with a tangle teaser and I'm just gonna really make sure it's all evenly coated by brushing it through. And it's also gonna help define those curls and clump them together. I'm then gonna go in with the hair and body butter and I'm only gonna use a little bit of this. It's winter time so I really need to lock in that moisture and again, focusing it on the ends. Now I'm going to take this bit of hair and I'm going to like braid it up again. This is also going to help with tangles and length retention because your hair is going to be technically stretched out. And I'm not even going to braid it all the way to the end, I'm just going to curl it like that. Okay, so now both sides have been braided and I know this sounds counterproductive, but I'm actually gonna take the braids out and then I'm going to blow dry and stretch as I'm blow drying. So give me a second to do that. Flip these out of the way and now I'm just gonna start unbraiding these. And the reason why I put all these braids in just to take them out is because it, el it elongates my curls and helps with frizz and it just makes my next wash day a lot easier because everything is stretched out. So I've taken out this side and now I'm just going to blow dry a little bit and stretch it as I'm blow drying and I'll show you how I do that. So this side is a good 70% dry. It's really just my ends mostly and like a little bit of dampness throughout. Um, if I go in anymore right now, it will frizz up too much. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next side. And you saw how I was doing that, right? I literally was like pulling it and just blow drying it. And when it got to the ends, cause I want my ends to stay curly, I'm gonna go ahead and cover those with my hands and then just pull with some tension and blow dry like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on this side and then I will probably do a little bit more on this side on a cool setting to really set everything in place and then I'm going to go ahead and um, separate my curls. Okay, I finished blow drying this side of my hair and then I went in with a hair dryer and did a cool setting. Um, and just like blew all over the place on my hair just to kind of seal in my cuticle and All that's really left. I could separate it a little bit more But I want this to last a little bit longer So I'm okay with it being clumped together all that really leaves is just doing my edges really quick So I'm gonna do that 
I've been really loving the Myel braiding gel and I know technically this isn't for your edges but I feel like it gives me a better hold and I don't have to redo my edges all day so that's really nice. I'm not doing anything super fancy, I'm literally just making them look neater and um, more put, put away from my face. Funny story, I actually shaved my sideburns and I did it too far down and now they're growing out and they look weird so ignore that. Okay, edges are laid, hair is fluffed out. I feel like it is dry enough now to where I can kind of separate a little bit more. Just like the clumped up pieces like that. Okay, this is the final look. I'll show you the back. And that is my updated curly hair routine.